the reason why God's throne is eternal. Have you read the scripture that says that thy throne, O God, is forever and ever? Have you read that scripture? And you said the scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. The reason why thy throne is forever is because you operate with the principle of righteousness. So nothing can challenge your dominion. Nothing can challenge your power because your throne is established on the operating system of righteousness. So righteousness is part of God's nature. When you begin to walk under the influence of the authority of the word of God, then you begin to discover the way God himself operates, that he operates by righteousness. Then you now come to town. You now discover that people that operate by righteousness, their life is slow. But people that cut corners, they break through quickly. And there'll be a temptation for you to discard the ways of God and to embrace the ways of the world because it seems to have more promise. But you decide that oh i am a chatter disciple it doesn't matter whether it is slow or fast as far as i know that this is the position of god's word this is where i will stay then you are a disciple indeed you know what god will do to you in order to fast track your own life what he will do to you is not to cut corners for you people that decide to work with him he has seven things that he gives them that puts them on the advantage one is authority god knows what to give you that will accelerate you but you must prove that you are his disciple indeed many things he will give one of them is anointing and then you discover that the place where people suffer stress when you come there is so easy there's an anointing for everything you are doing there's an anointing for business when the anointing for business comes upon you it's not really about how powerful the business idea is there are things that god can give you that will make up for your deficiency but he's only meant for disciples indeed he knows that the world is averse to your principles to your values and the world will fight you so what he does is that he puts something upon you the world cannot create the world will become compelled to come to you for that resource that he has opened up over your life because you are his disciple indeed.